Hello and welcome to a new video of Applied Control Engineering. This time we want to use a continuous controller. We want to use a P controller, proportional controller. Uh, let's see how this is working. I again have he prepared my, my system. Yeah? So we want to again that the system is explained how it is working with this uh, PLTE element here. Yeah? Uh, there's a PLT element in between. We can heat. We can heat this up. There is a heat sink at the at the other side, which will transport away the heat and so on. Yeah. And the controller itself, it is realized in an Arduino. So we are having this Arduino, uh, and this is measuring the temperature here. Is I can adjust the set point. I can trigger the set point. We measure several other temperatures with uh, temperature sensors, also the air temperature and so on. Yeah, but this does not have influence on the on the controller. Right? The controller is just measuring the temperature of this here, uh, of this part, and the, getting the set point, and is doing its stuff. And its stuff is a B controller. Okay, I have programmed a B controller. Pretty simple, just build the difference between this and the set point and this is the value we we put out uh, to the to the heating element so how how is this looking uh, let's have a look what are the is the current status currently the temperature is 23.8 degree uh, the set point is 0 degree, 0 0.08, uh, okay. The air temperature is 23.7 degree. The in set point, so the potentiometer here, is already set to 45, around 45, because I just want to trigger it. And the heat sink is 24 degree as well. Yeah. So this FB here, this, this is uh, this FB here, this is currently the the current the current correcting variable huh? so these are the values we see this cool heat we don't need actually the only things we want to show and we want to see are the temperature the set point and the correcting variable huh? so let's simply huh? let's trigger let's trigger the set point Set point is jumping immediately. The correcting variable also jumped to 63%. You see, this is what what the proportional factors in place. Yeah, now we had a controller difference, and now you see the temperature is getting higher, and the controller difference disappears, and also the proportional gain, the gained controller difference is also disappearing. You see, it's going down. Yeah? The temperature is going up and this is now a more continuous process. The brightness of this shows how of the red LED shows how many percent we have. Yeah? You see the more the more the heat is rising, the more we are reducing the more we are reducing the, the, the heating. Of course, yeah? because it's just proportional. However, of course, since it is now hotter than the surroundings, the heat will also be radiated. Yeah? So there is some cooling going on. So I need to add some heat to it that this will stay at the temperature it currently has. Yeah? And this exactly is the issue with a P controller. Yeah? We'll see. The temperature, the temperature now will stabilize somewhere. It will not reach the end. It will not reach the set point. At least that's the theory. Let's see what is happening in reality. By the way, the proportional gain factor is currently set to three. And you see, right now we have around 40, 40 degree, 
we want to have 45, so the difference is 5 degree. 5 multiplied by 3 is around 15 and the, the value is 16.4. Well, we have a little bit above uh, 5 degree. Yeah, so this is how this is built. Yeah? So control difference currently 5 dot something, yeah? 5 dot 5 degree. So it's 16.5, the correcting variable. And now you see already, aha, uh -huh, we have not reached the end. Yeah? And we will not reach the end, I can tell you. Yeah? Now it's cooling down, we are going up a little bit. Hmm. This is the typical issue of a P controller. The P controller will not get to the end at standard systems. Uh, this is pretty much a standard system. Maybe because of this here, what is happening now, that we are swinging a little bit, this is because of the system. Yeah, we have here in there, there are some, some delay times and so on. This is causing now a little bit this swinging, but it's pretty much stable. Uh, you will see it will now reach some stable state. Yeah. What to do about this? Yeah. Because currently the heat we are now adding, yeah, this is not enough to maintain. To maintain, it's just enough to maintain the current heat, yeah. but not getting further, yeah. not getting to 45. It's just enough to get to 39 in this case right now. Yeah. Yeah. So we could, we could come to the idea. Uh, then let's not use three. Yeah? Use a little bit more gain yeah? and, and produce more power simply. Yeah? And this is exactly what we try next. Yeah? See what is happening then. Yeah? Let's cool this down. Yeah? And then we will use, instead of three, we will use simply double six. Okay? Everything is cooled down again. We are at 25 degrees, so we are not om we are almost there. Yeah, and now we see. Uh, well, I've first we had it around 75 or something like this. Now we have 150. Yeah, minus because the set point is again zero. Yeah, so now we have uh, 25 degree multiplied by six is 150. KP is 6. And now I'm going to trigger uh, 45 degree as well again. And we will see what is happening. Book. And see, boom! We immediately go to 100%. There's not more than 100%. Yeah? Of course. So we are full heating now. And it is reacting. You see, the temperature is rising. It is, of course, now rising faster than before. It's also clear. And now again, you see again, the, the correcting variable is dropping again. Yeah. This is simply because we are getting close to, close, closer to, to the set point. We're dropping pretty fast. That, that's a typical the typical behavior of a P controller. If a P proportional factor is high, it will also disappear pretty fast again. Yeah. Before we had 15% 15, 15 heating, now we have 12% heating, so we will will pretty much start to cool down. So the only thing we have reached is a little bit more instability, a little bit more swinging, it seems like. Yeah? Let's wait a little bit. Well, the reaction then was good. Yeah? It really, it really pushed at the beginning. Yeah? Reaction time was good. But now it's the final, it, it's not finishing, you know? It's starting good but then getting lazy.
Mm. Well, what we see is pretty much the same reaction like before. Yeah? We're a little bit higher. That's typical. The more, the more proportional gain I add, the closer I'm getting to the set point. But I will not, I will not stay there. Yeah? With this system, I might even reach a little overshoot. But in the end, I will end up always with a controller difference, with a color, controller deviation. That's classical P controller issue. Yeah? There are methods on how you can solve this with external stuff and so on, but you know, right, the P controller is just doing that. The form did not look too bad. The general. But if we would reach the end, we I think we could already be pretty satisfied. But we do not. I'll make a screenshot of this. Yeah? We compare it with the previous approach. Yeah? Just to have them side by side. Yeah? Okay, so let's have a look on the, our two recordings. This was our first recording with KP3. Yeah? So we ended up here at around 20% 20, 20 and we had here some some difference. Now then we added gain and now it looks like this. You see? We are here a little bit higher, we are also here a little bit higher yeah? and maybe the swinging is a little bit more. Yeah, it is more. It is more. Yeah, yeah. but we will not get there. Yeah? P controller. P controller style, this is how it is yeah? with this type of, of system. I hope you now have a better impression how a P control is working yeah? and that this is usually not enough. Yeah? So we add, we have to do a little bit different. Yeah? There is another, there are other application videos where we are talking about eye controller for instance. You can watch them if you like. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.